Hi everyone, I pray that you're all doing well by the grace of God. Welcome back. My name is Rosalind. So today, let us take a look what the Bible says about do not worry about tomorrow. You know, in this time of we're living in tough times these days, especially of this unexpected pandemic that we encounter worldwide it's it's beyond our control and we never expected that to happen right and we know also that because of that pandemic is so many people lost their lives lost their loved ones and also lost their job we're in it makes as worry about it and panic and it's very easy to worry and it's very easy to panic right especially if this really critical that we encounter like this challenges in life and we don't know where to get the daily needs that we need right so if uh, someone lost their job or you know so of course they will worry and they will think where they have they can find food to provide for their family right so it captures the worriness in life and it makes us paralyzed to think all the more this pain the struggle that we encounter worldwide and for example, also for another thing that really happening at this time, God is teaching us so many things in life that to be grateful and everything that we have and thank the Lord that God has still a purpose in our lives and God can also use us all for His glory and honor. And yeah, and it really makes us worry and it makes this our emotions our hearts and minds you know is battling with each other but the bible says let us take a look on matthew chapter 6 verse 25 to 27 it says therefore i tell you do not worry about your life what you will eat or drink or about your body what you will wear is not life more important than food and the body more important than clothes look at the birds of the air they do not sow or reap or store away in barns and yet your heavenly father feeds them are you not much more valuable than they who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life and you know in our lives sometimes we just be on our control and we don't know what to do and we aren't prepared for it for example of this pandemic that we encountered globally and with all those trials or struggles that we encounter and this needs that we need in a daily basis the bible teaches us or god is reminding us do not worry and trust the lord because he's got it under control even if we don't really we don't god is in control of everything that's really happening now and god is teaching us to depend on him alone and to trust him that God is our ultimate provider and sometimes the road isn't easy right God never promised that it would be but God does promise to provide for our needs like food which is a daily basic needs our daily basic needs to give us strength and nourishment for our body and shelter also and the clothing God truly knows, really knows that we need all these things. 
So today, if you're worried about what the future holds, always remember that God holds your future. As said in the scripture in Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in a future. What a powerful word it is that we can hold on. This God, this promise of God for each and every one of us. And always remember that God will never leave us or you or forsake you. When times are tough, He is always there. And also when it seems you're alone and he is always there and never entertain what the enemy is trying to tell you that you are alone. You are never alone and God is always there with you, whatever you are encountering in life. You may not see it now, but when you're through the storm, you'll be able to look back and marvel at His provision. And God truly provides provisions for all of us that we need in our life. And God is truly reminding us, every one of us, including me, that do not worry about all these things, about life, what we will eat or drink, because God truly knows about it. And God wants to bless us and also wants to use us to other people as a loving testimony of His goodness and faithfulness in our life. And as also mentioned that, look at the birds. You know the birds, they are not working for themselves. But yet, it says, they do not sow or reap or store away in barns. And yet, your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? So, truly, God is reminding us that if He can feed the birds, how much more we are. We are more valuable than the birds. God has created us according to His own likeness for a greater purpose. And also we are special in God's eyes. And also that, as said in the scripture in the Philippians, book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 19, and my God will supply every need of yours according to His riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Means every need. Whatever you need, God truly knows about it. And He wants to bless you of all these things. Not only these physical things or food that we need in life, but in every area of our life. Okay, let us take a look in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. It says, But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. So all these things. So it means everything that we need, everything that we desire in life, and we are struggling of this time, or this temporary things that you want in life. I mean, like this food, like the shelter, like the the home wherein you can stay. God truly wants to bless you of all these things because our God is our ultimate provider. He's our ultimate healer. And also it says in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. So God is, as said in the verse, that telling that telling us that to trust in the Lord with all our heart means fully, hundred percent, to trust in the Lord, because God wants to bless you of all these things, and do not worry about what will happen tomorrow or what we will eat, so what we will wear what we will drink because in this verse it's very you know it's we ha if we read that verse you will have god will work in our lives and he will put you we will remember or we will feel that peace in our heart in our mind that we need 
that do not worry and trust the Lord that God will use many people to bless us or to bless you and also in return that God will use you as well to be a good steward of God's blessings so it's a reminder for all of us I know it's very timely at this very moment that God is reminding us to trust the Lord and put wholeheartedly trust wholeheartedly 100% to the Lord and keep hold on the promises of God so wherever you are today what you are facing in life or if you are worried about what you will eat tomorrow remember this word that God is telling you today in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 to 27 that God is always there to bless you to give you an abundant life in Christ and if this is your first time in this channel I pray that God will reveal himself to you and you will accept Christ in your as your own personal Savior and if you have any questions or prayer requests we can pray all together about it and I pray also that we will all get connected in order for us to learn more and grow more our relationship in Christ and keep safe everyone and God bless you all